Hi, welcome to the Phone Arena video review of this quirky little device here, the Motorola Flipout. While upon first glance it hardly even looks like a phone, the Flipout's loaded with a number of key features that make it a very good one. First, we have Android on board, Android 2.1 to be precise. There is also a capacitive TFT touchscreen coming in at 2.8 inches with a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels and the key factor the slide out QWERTY keypad which is 5 tiered with a 4 way D-pad on the bottom left. The screen is going to cover the whole of the front of the fascia pretty much except for the three capacitive Android buttons at the bottom and the in-call speaker at the top. At 2.8 inches and a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels, it's lower res than we've come to expect from most Android devices. However, it's put in the same category as the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro. In turn, as Sony Ericsson have done, Motorola have put a tweaked interface on board. This maximizes on the landscape orientation, and the inclusion of a 600 MHz processor means everything runs very nice and smoothly. Below the screen, when the device is closed, is a micro USB port. To the right, the power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the top of the screen is a volume rocker. Flip out the device to reveal a 5 row QWERTY keypad. This illuminates when open and is raised so you can really feel your way around the keypad. It isn't too glossy as well like some Blackberry keypads so it feels really nice and enables pretty quick typing speeds. The keys are also nice and responsive with a click with every press and this is great to have. While the keypad is small for long documents it's perfect for emails and messaging on the go and is definitely a better alternative than the on-screen keypad. The inclusion of the 4-way D-pad was also very nice as it enabled an alternative means of accessing various functions on the phone. Below the keypad to the right is the microphone. In turn, talking must be done with the phone open and closing the phone will hang up the call. On the back of the device is a 3.1 megapixel camera, a self-portrait mirror and a Motorola insignia. Upon removing the back panel which is a little bit tough to do as it is very securely fastened on. We reveal the battery, the SIM card slot, and a micro SD card slot, which isn't underneath the battery however is still underneath the back cover and so is not completely hot swappable. The flip out comes with alternative back covers. In the package we had we received a green one and a black one and these clip on nicely to change the personality of the phone. As you can see with the back cover covering roughly 50% of the device. It really does a good job in maximizing the personalization and sets this phone to appeal to a teen market. Overall, the look and feel of the Motorola Flipout was really positive. Build quality is good, the flip has a nice mechanism, and it's attractive. While saying that is subjective and each person will form their own opinion, we certainly grew to appreciate the form factor as 
even down to the weighting of the device, the bottom being heavier than the top, it feels extremely natural to use. The Motorola Flipout runs Android 2.1. While we were dubious as to how well this would work on a screen of this resolution and size, and in landscape format, we're pleased to say Motorola have done a great job in packing everything onto this little device. It appears to look like an Android phone, although slightly different. On the right hand side of the screen, for example, is your contacts tab and a dialer tab. The dialer is responsive and has haptic, optional haptic feedback, which we preferred. In the middle of that is a menu button. The menu is quick and responsive, as is the phone in general, due to the 600 MHz processor. We're really glad of this, as it makes a whole experience of using the phone a pleasure. The top of the phone has a pull-down notifications tab, as with other Android handsets. The main screen home screens are customizable with widgets and wallpapers. It has live wallpapers, though these do show up the low resolution screen, especially when compared with other devices with higher end screens. In turn, we found we stuck to the static wallpapers as they did the job very well. The apps we tended to use most often were the music app. This is due to the great audio playback with high quality headphones. Music is sorted into albums, artists, songs, playlists, and shuffle. And so it's really easy to get your head around. There are a whole host of other features in the music category, such as radio, music videos, community, and song identification. Another feature we loved was uh, Motorola's phone portal. This enables you to connect the phone to a PC without the need for additional software or even a USB cable. You can do it all through Wi-Fi, which was great as the phone is browsed through an HTML browser. Very convenient and smart. Overall, we really like the feel of the menu. It is basic and simple and fundamental things like the calendar work very well. Scrolling through everything is snappy and this makes all the difference. The contacts are displayed extremely e quickly and sync seamlessly with Google contacts as you would expect on an Android device. The one issue would be the gallery. The 3D interface incorporated is stuttery and doesn't always do what you want it to do. As you can see, it's not the smoothest experience and we would have much preferred having a simple grid that did a better job. Other than that though, we're pleased to say everything works very well and the device is a real pleasure to use inside and out. Connectivity options on the device are quad band GSM and dual band 3G, along with Wi-Fi, an AGPS and Bluetooth 2.1. The phone also has Motorola's Moto Portal. This phone portal, as it's called, links the phone to the PC and doesn't need wires or even software. It connects to the PC via Wi-Fi or an optional USB cable, and you are able to access all your phone's content through a web browser such as Firefox or Internet Explorer. This is a really nice feature that we're glad Motorola has incorporated onto the device. Browsing websites on the Motorola Flipout is pretty cool. We thought it would be really hampered by the small screen size and the low resolution, and it does suffer from this, though Motorola have done a great job of making it usable. One of the reasons being the native landscape format really lends itself to web browsing. While not much detail is discernible beyond images when the page is in overview mode, when you double tap to zoom or pinch to zoom, you can read detail pretty comfortably, though admittedly 
the lower resolution does mean you'd have to go a little bit too close. Pages are displayed well and accurately. And with Android 2.1 on board, there is partial flash support for most things out there. Web pages load up quickly as well. As you can see through the current Wi-Fi connection, it's doing a good job of loading the page with some speed and while the page loads, the web pages don't hang. You can still explore through them and the device still operates well, which is great. We attribute this largely to the 600 megahertz processor on board. Video playback on the device is smooth up to the phone's native resolution and can even go a bit higher in MPEG-4 format. While out of the box, codec support is very limited, and we would have liked to see DivX and XVID codec support on there, this can be accessed through downloadable apps in the Android market. In conclusion, we really like the Motorola Flipout. Well, as with most phones, there are a couple of features we wish were better, like the camera, which doesn't even have autofocus, or a photo light, and the screen, which is slightly low res. Ultimately, for what we ended up using it for, it made our lives easier. We really enjoyed the keypad. The novel form factor was grabbing people's attention, and for all the right reasons. And it was very nice and small to just have and hold and use every day. In turn, we'd highly recommend the Motorola Flipout. However, if you're looking for alternatives, the more straight-laced Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro has a slide-out keypad as well. Thanks for watching the Phone Arena video review of the Motorola Flipout. For more on this and other handsets, please visit www.phonearena.com.